of Paulus letters Proscorintius the second chapter 6 we are being ambassadors therefore on behalf of anointed as though the god were exhorting through us we are beseeching on behalf of anointed be ye reconciled to the god the one not having known sin he made a sin offering on our behalf so that we might become God's righteousness in and by means of him. And working together with him, we are also exhorting you to receive the grace of the God, not in vain. For he is saying, in an acceptable time I hearkened to thee, and in a day of salvation I helped thee. Behold, now is an acceptable time. Behold, now is a day of salvation, giving no occasion of stumbling in anything, so that the ministration might be blamed not, but in everything commending ourselves as God's servers, in much hopeful perseverance, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labours, in watchings, in fastings, in pureness, in knowledge, in long suffering, in kindness, in Holy Spirit, in a mindful love unfeigned, in a word of truth, in God's power through the weapons of the righteousness, the right-hand side ones and the left-hand side ones, through glory and dishonor, through evil report and good report, suffering as deceivers and actually being true, as being unknown ones and actually being well-known ones, as dying and behold we are living, as ones being chastened and not being killed ones, as ones being grieved but always rejoicing, as poor ones but ones enriching many, as possessing nothing and actually getting possession of all things. Our mouth hath become open to you, O Corinthioi, our heart hath been enlarged. Ye are not being restricted by us, but ye are being restricted in your bowels of benevolence. But the recompense in like kind is, I am speaking as to children, be ye enlarged, also ye. Don't be ye being ones misyoking to unbelievers, for what partnership for righteousness is also for lawlessness, or what agreed partnership is for light with darkness, and what harmony of anointed is with Belial, or what portion for a believer is with an unbeliever, and what agreement is with God's temple together with idols, for we are a temple of a living God, according as the God said, I will dwell among them, and I shall walk among them, and I shall be their God, and they, they shall be my people. For what reason? Come ye out from among them, and be ye separate, saith Lord Yahweh, and touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be to you a father, and ye shall be to me sons and daughters, saith Lord Yahweh Almighty.